Hi there, Ronnie here, coming at you with a video. Interesting sort of conversation off the back of Free RPG Day at Settlers. Uh, and it's a conversation that I've, I've mentioned here a few times in terms of the, the subject matter. But I think it's, it's going to come to a head. Free RPG Day at Settlers was very successful. Uh, there was a lot of people in. A lot of people looking to play, uh, both in the afternoon games and the evening games. The afternoon game was slightly busy, was a lot busier, but that's to be expected. Um, all the tables in the afternoon, uh, two games running D and D, one game running Turn. Myself, uh, our tables were full. And apparently the, the, the evening tables had at least three players on them. So, as far as Shaz was concerned, really, really successful as an event. But as a role player himself, the real success of Free RPG Day will be if it attracts people to game to playing RPGs going forward. And this is where the sticking point is. Whether I like it or not, whether anyone likes it or not, the vast majority of people, when when I ask them, and I am one of the admins on the, the Facebook page, when I ask them, uh, uh, what RPGs do you play or are you looking to play? Uh, invariably, by some distance, they'll say D&D. Now, that is down to... Uh, either that's the game they've played or that's the game they've heard of and one of the things that uh, free RPG day is there to try and do is people who have never played an RPG before can get a wee taster of a game and if you do play RPGs, let's, maybe you play one particular RPG. It doesn't matter which one it is in this example. Um, maybe there's a chance to play a different one. Which I like the idea of. Um, so, Shaz's idea is... Um, to really push RPGs again on a Sunday, which is generally the day people game. Um, but he's well aware that whilst a lot of people are asking about D&D, &D, not a lot of players are running it. Um, there's maybe two or three people prepared to run a game of D&D. &D. Uh, there are other... GMs who can run other things. Um, and this is where Shaz's argument is now. His his view is, if he can get people playing D&D, fine. If he can't, what he's hoping the other GMs, like myself, will do is bring something D&D-like, i.e. a fantasy game. Sorry, yawning. Now, I, I, th there's a little frustration in me that um, it's got to be a fantasy game because, quite frankly, I like the freedom to, check my, to pick my genre. But I get the idea. So I've posted the games I'd be willing to run. Um, out of my collection. And the ones I've posted are Blue Rose, uh, Castle Falkenstein, Dragon Age, uh, Iron Gauntlets, and Shintar. I suppose I could make a case for low, uh, low magic, uh, low level gaming. Um, I could make a case for Princess Bride. Um, sorry. I do have other fantasy games. 
such as Pendragon, such as Song of Ice and Fire, such as Palladium Fantasy. The problem with those particular ones in this context is they're a lot more involved. Um, and if we're trying to get new players, you want a game that is easy to grasp and, and easy to get into. So I'm kind of looking forward to, to running stuff. Um, my instinct is still to run either Blue Rose. I mean, I'll run Dragon Age at a push, but I'd rather run Blue. I'd rather run Blue Rose with the same system. Um, or to run Castle Falkenstein, because quite frankly, I never need an excuse for Falkenstein. Um. But I'm looking forward to the, the, the possibilities now, uh, which has not been the case for the last couple of years. Um, but it's really down to will the players who have been... who either because that's all they've played or that's all they know about are kind of tunnel visioned on D&D, &D, are they going to be flexible enough? To say, okay, I can't get D&D, &D, but this is a fantasy game. Let's try it. And if we can get that, yay. Thank goodness. That'll work. We're up for that. We can do that. But we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. But I'm kind of looking forward to it because it'd be interesting to see what kind of... What kind of uh, what can be done, or whether the, the, the sort of cult of D&D &D is just going to sweep everything and, and no one's going to do anything other than. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, hoping I get the players, hoping I get to run something um, and show players that, that okay, D&D's out there, it's, it's, it's the, the, the most popular um but there's more out there and maybe show them that just because something is popular doesn't make it the best um you know just because a a, a certain band or pop singer is immensely popular doesn't mean they're actually good it just means they're popular you know quality quantity of sales does not truly indicate the quality of 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 what's being sold um although i fully accept that that the definition of quality becomes very subjective um but i'm hoping we can get people it's not a case of pulling them away from D and D, but pulling them away from the mindset that they're only going to play D and D, and open their world to you know open their eyes to the world of this hobby. And if they can do that, I think Settlers is going to be a great place to RPG again. <laughs>